It's the area where we're at at the moment is one of my favorite spots up in, in northern Sweden, fishing for trout and char. I fished it for many years, but it still has a lot of surprises for me. Most of the rivers are not, you cannot access by just driving up. There are no roads up here. That's why we fly helicopter and that's why all the rivers are stocked with fish. You're out in, in a really remote area. One thing I like about the, the northern part of Sweden is that you don't have any uh, access to mobile phone or internet or anything like that. So when you fly out with clients up in the mountains, it's just quality time. You get to relax, calm down a bit, reload the batteries, and just to enjoy the silence and the beautiful surroundings. I mean, it doesn't get much better than that. Yeah, it didn't take long. <laughs> We're spoiled to be able to do this for a living and also to share this with people that you've never met before, that you have that in common. You know, it's, it's a nice atmosphere, not only to be in, in this type of nature, but it's also good with clients because you share the same passion. Being a guide, in extreme cases, when you're lucky, you can put on a fly to a client and you can say, okay, you see that hole, you put your fly there, let it sink down to the hole, and then he cast out, the fly goes down the hole, and he catch a fish. My feeling about these waters is that they're getting better and better for every year, every year that passes. Maybe it changes a fairly bit, like a little bit when it comes to maybe the trout has been a little bit stronger in some areas lately. The char has backed down a bit in numbers. That's my feeling anyway, but the fishing is getting better and better and better. I want the, the place to, to be pristine and I want it to be untouched as it is today. Try not to leave too many marks behind. Just try and leave the river as, you, as it was when you first got here. <laughs>